In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw graphs on the Casio FX CG50 graphing calculator. For more tutorials on this calculator, visit parkermaths.com forward slash CG50. I recommend before beginning this tutorial that you reset your calculator. There's a link in the description to a tutorial that shows you how to do that, and it will just mean that you're more likely to see on your screen what I see on my screen. So from the main menu, I'm going to go into graph mode, which is number five. I do that using the directional arrows. If you've reset your calculator, you won't see any functions in here yet. The blue bar tells us which line is currently selected. So for Y1, we're going to enter the function X squared. To enter an X, we press this key here. If you use the other X over here, you'll get an error when you try and plot your graph. So we enter X, and then squared. When you finish entering your function, press EXE, and then press EXE again to bring up the graph window. So here is the graph of Y equals X squared. Let's add in another graph. I'm going to press EXIT to get back to the functions window. And this time I'm going to enter 2X plus one. Notice that the first function I entered is in blue, and the second function I've entered is in red. When I go back to the graph window, you'll notice that that matches the color of both of the graphs. And so that's the basics of plotting graphs. Next up, we'll look at how to edit and delete graphs. First of all, I'm going to press exit to get back to the function window. Then I'm going to use the directional arrows to go back up to my x squared graph. And to edit a function, I'm going to press the right directional arrow and you'll see that a cursor appears within the function. Let's delete the x squared first. And now I'm going to enter this function here. y equals x to the power of four, and then minus three x cubed. However, before I press the minus sign, notice that I'm inside the power here, so I need to press the directional arrow to come out of the power, and then I can enter the next part of the function. I have plus x squared plus three. I'm also going to delete the two x plus one function. To do that, I first of all make sure the correct function is highlighted, then I press F2 for delete, and then F1 to confirm, which leaves me with a single function. We'll press EXE to go back to the graph window, and there is my function. However, you might notice here, it looks like maybe some of the interesting points on the graph aren't on the screen. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can adjust the view window to be able to see the parts of the graph that you're interested in.